Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Today I'm going to talk about something that many times we avoid this. This is something that we really don't want to have to deal with at all. Over the past several months I've received several emails from all of you regarding this subject and I got one last week that moved me deeply. It was from a mother who had lost her adult daughter just a couple of months ago. I'm talking about grief. Grief, you know that feeling when someone we lose is gone and we feel that deep, deep loathing, anger, and despair, and depression, and that loss. You know, grief is a necessary process that we as human beings feel. In fact, it's not just us human beings. Most animals, especially mammals, feel this in one way or another when their partner, part of their family is missing. Today I want you to understand if you're in this situation, and you know what, indirectly or directly most of us are in some way. We know someone going through this, we know of someone who has gone through it, and how this just seems to linger on. And one of the most naive things I hear even some therapists tell people is that time will heal this. Well, you know what? Time doesn't heal it. I'm going to tell you right now, time does not heal grief. What heals grief is acknowledging it, moving through it, and talking about it. If you're grieving today, first of all, I want you to know how deeply I feel for you. In my private practice here, I work with this all the time. I want you to understand that when we lose a loved one, no matter how important that person was in our life or even how distant they were, when they're gone, we feel that. And that's a natural phenomenon. If you're feeling that today because you lost someone just recently or even a long time ago, it's normal. It's normal to miss that person because they were a fundamental part of your life. But here's one of the things I want you to understand. Whether it's spiritually or through common sense, understand this. That that person, even though they're gone, still lives on inside of you. In your memories. And their legacy lives with you in the way you remember them. And if you'll remember someone with the light that they shed upon you, if you remember someone with the smiles and some of the funny stuff, if you remember the goodness in those people that are gone now, their life isn't in vain. In fact, they filled a purpose, a higher purpose. And their purpose was to give your life light and to teach you. And even in their death right now, you're to learn something. You're to learn that even though they are gone, you can remember them and understand facets and components and parts of them that also interface with you and other people and still learn from that. Today, if you're grieving, I want you to be open about that. Be willing to show it because the more you show it and not be a victim of it, but to allow it the more it will settle in and that from that person that's gone will become more of you. Now if you know someone, one of the most common mistakes people make is they don't know what to say. And one of the worst things you can say is I'm sorry. Because what are you sorry for? You didn't do anything wrong. Of course we wish that they were not having to go through this. But rather than say you're sorry, let them understand that you're willing to talk about it that you're willing to remember with them, that you're willing to acknowledge that person was here. So many people avoid the subject and that is the greatest insult and that deepens the grief because it's like you just erased someone off the face of the earth like they didn't matter. We don't even talk about them anymore. I remember my sister when my mother died and she was the one that had to deal with everything after my mom was gone because I was so far away. She said, wow, 
It's just so easy to erase someone's life like it never existed. And the way she was looking at grief is our mother was all the stuff she had. Now, she lives in each one of us. She lives in a lot of people. If you lost someone you love, they're living in a lot of people too. They're living in schoolmates, they're living in their friends, they're living through you, brothers and sisters, pets. You acknowledge that person today and be glad that they were there and also be happy that they have moved on, not for yourself, but for them. That they're not in pain anymore. That whatever purpose they were to fill on this earth also still is alive and is alive within you today. Talk about it. If you're someone that would like to talk to me about it, I can help you. Or if you know someone who can talk about it, talk about it. It always helps to talk about it. We talk about sports. We talk about pets. We talk about kids graduating from school. We can talk about death. And the more we talk about it, and the more we talk about our loss, the more we can accept it. We desensitize ourselves to the fear of it and accept it and accept the loss of others. Today, I want you to work on this. And all of you that have people that are in this situation, I want you to reach out to them and express that you understand that you will talk about it and that you honor the loss of that individual. If you're going through this right now, you reach out and you talk about it and be willing to express your love openly. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day today and let's have a great week. Let's just make an attitude that this is going to be a really good week. Until then, love you. Bye-bye.